All right, so about three years ago, uh, I made a video called When Not to Pray. Um, and let's just say that that wasn't the best quality video in the world. Um, but the message of the video, I believe, still stands pretty strong. It's a very important message. And so I decided to kind of remake that video in hopefully a uh, higher quality um, so that this message I think is very important. At least for me, I know that prayer is something that I'm still kind of trying to figure out myself. I might end up doing a whole series on just the issue of prayer. Um, but before I get a little too ahead of myself, let's just focus on the issue at hand for this video, which is when not to pray. So probably one of the most cliche Christian sayings out there is, I'll, I'll pray for you, or I'll pray about that. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with prayer. I mean, prayer is a beautiful thing. It allows you to communicate and converse with God. Um, but the problem I have with it is oftentimes we kind of use it as a cop out from, you know, actually doing something. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've said, oh yeah, I'll, I'll pray I'll pray about that, or I'll pray for you, and then end up forgetting or just not doing it. So here's when you don't pray, all right? Don't pray when you have the means and the ability to actually do something, all right? If someone is in need, if someone you know needs help, don't just say, I'll pray for you, and walk away, I mean, what good does that do? In fact, there's a verse in James chapter 2 that kind of says the same thing. Start from verse um, 14. It says, What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to him, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? Thus, also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. So essentially what it's saying is, you know, if you see someone on the street who's, you know, wearing tattered clothing, who's hungry, malnourished, and just needs help, right, you know, Go out and, you know, buy them a meal, a Chipotle or something, you know, like donate clothing that you don't even wear anymore. Just, you know, do something because sometimes we might, you know, be, you know, say, I'm going to pray for someone, I'm going to pray for this and not realize that we might actually be the answer to that prayer. But because we were too busy praying and not proactively acting upon our faith and doing something, we miss out on the opportunity to be a blessing to someone and to impact a life. So if you have the means and the ability to do something, then do it. You know, one of the best ministries we can have is not one of just preaching or teaching or even praying. The best mission we can have is one of actively demonstrating the love of God through our actions, through helping people, and just through our lives by what we do and how we live. You know, and we all have to some capacity a level of which we can help people. It may not be monetarily, it may not even be physical, but we can, you know, help them emotionally. Right? They need comfort, they're going through something in their lives, and they need some sort of emotional support, some sort of comfort. Right? It can be something mental, it can be something spiritual, you know, leading someone you know, through their spiritual journey and their rough patches and whatever the case may be. We, in some way, shape, or form, we can help someone, actively help someone, and we should. Um, and if for some strange reason you absolutely can't do anything 
to help that person or to help that situation or whatever the case may be, then yes, of course, you know, pray for them. Um, but essentially what I'm saying is don't use prayer as a cop-out to not doing anything. You know, just like James says, faith without works is dead, right? So our faith in God, our belief in God, our love for God in our should compel us to do the works of God. And so, yes, pray, but be sure to couple that prayer, couple that faith with works. As always, think on these things. Thank you.